What's up, everybody? Guys in for a treat. I'm uh, heading to my old office right now. You guys get to see my very first office. It's a pretty cool space. Used to get a lot of work done in here. Here, my office, my first office. Isn't it beautiful? Look at it. <laughs> I remember that guy. I wonder if he's still working. You still work here? I work in the now. Oh man! <laughs> this this used to be my desk right here. I would sit right here all day and I would call people and I would do interviews. This used to be my office and that used to be my conference room. <laughs> and uh, this is where I used to do interviews and then over there was the lunch room. And then uh, I used to come here so much. Uh, I know all the staff by first name basis. I think I see one of the guys that used to work. I think he's still working, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, man, that's, 2020 has been interesting. I, uh, we started here, and then uh, we were struggling a little bit. And then uh, we was able to push through. Got some of, I closed a lot of my uh, bigger accounts. Some of my first biggest accounts, I closed it right here at this table. I don't know, maybe one day when I'm really, really big, Panera Bread to get me a sponsorship. All right, so I want to talk about how 2020, because a lot of people, they always ask me uh, how business is going and how things are going with you. So I'm going to talk about um, how 2020 started for me how it ended, and then my goals and projections for 2021. And um, so how 2020 started. Uh, so I started a company um, right when the pandemic started. So there was a lot of uh, challenges in the beginning for some. Uh, so, but I, I don't think that a lot of my problems or the issues that I was having in the beginning of 2020 was necessarily due to the pandemic I think it was just um, new business struggles so for starters I was so um, determined um, and I was a bit naive too I was like yeah I'm gonna start this business and I'm gonna be servicing so much people and I'm gonna be doing 150 200 houses a month and then yeah I just met in my mind it sounded so easy so I was like, all right, everybody, I'm open for business. And um, so, but no one called me. Um, and then I was like, oh, I, uh, in case you guys didn't hear, um, I'm open for business. And no one called. And then so those couple of days turned into a month. And then I was just like, oh, man. Okay, well, no. And then uh, Thanksgiving was coming up. I started on Halloween day, then Thanksgiving was coming up, and I was like, oh, it's Thanksgiving. People are gonna, they're gonna call now because they're gonna get their house in order for their families. Yeah, this would be the month right here. We're gonna take off. And no one called. And I was like, what in the, what the hell? I was like, okay, Christmas is coming up. Okay, it's the holidays. Holiday cheers and giving and stuff. Yeah, people can definitely call me now and nobody called and it went like that for four months i didn't have any customers for four months i didn't get my first customer until like the end of the fourth month and so uh during that time you know I, um i quit a lot um i woke up like man this is stupid i quit and um fortunate enough for me i had some pretty uh, good motivating friends who got me back on the horse so um not a lot of people know that, but I quit three times. Um, I quit every month, no one called me. Um, so then uh, fast forward, 
and then I, I finally got one customer and uh, I needed I needed more customers um, so I think I had like uh, two thousand dollars left of my initial start of ten thousand dollars not even to mention um, I didn't even mention that I started my company with ten thousand dollars and then don't ask me where it went because uh, I blew it on a whole bunch of things that didn't even help my company. So here I was down to the last two thousand dollars, and um, I was just like, "I right, bump it, last ditch effort." I bought ten thousand flyers, and then I also started uh, cleaning houses for free. So I put up on Facebook that hey, we'll clean your house for free, and um, so I clean clean 30 houses that month for free um i had to hire someone and i paid i paid that person to clean those houses but no one paid me um that um, the only contingent was that they were supposed to leave us a review to clean 30 houses and you know how many people left me a review six so um yeah six people left a review and i think even three people complained so that was discouraging. So I was on the road to quit again. I was like, you know, you can't even clean people's houses for free and get any good feedback. Um, but I had a talk with a friend and I pushed through, ordered 10,000 flyers, um, door hangers, and I literally walked to 10,000 houses. I hung up each and every one of them by myself, by hand. Um, don't tell the VA. <laughs> but uh, I went to 10,000 houses, hung them up, and then I got the phone to start ringing a little bit. Um, so anyway, long story short, we went from four months with no sales. And uh, here's the big question everyone's asking, well, like, how, well, how much did you make or how much did you do? Well, we ended up finishing the year a little over 105,000. Um, my initial goal was to do over two. So in my in my mind, I felt that we fought fell very short of that. Um, people hear that number and um, ask me how much money I made off that. Zero, not a dollar. Um, I think I probably broke even. I know that's crazy, right? You owe a hundred thousand dollars and you broke even. Oh uh, man, that's crazy. That's why I even start a business. That's 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 stupid. Well, um, so we did that, um, but here's some of the things that kind of came out of it. Um, so uh, my parents worked, worked with me, and uh, it was always a lifelong dream of mine to be able to create an opportunity where my parents could thrive and flourish. And so I was able to create an opportunity for them that makes me feel really good. Um, my little cousin works for me, and uh, he could be doing so many things with his life right now, and um, getting into mischief and all that stuff, but instead of doing all that, you know, he's here working with me, and we was able to create an opportunity for him, and I have six other people outside of them who also, this is their, their occupation, this is what they do for a living, this is how they provide for their families. So, you know, um, during the pandemic, I was able to create jobs for nine people. I know it doesn't sound substantial, it doesn't sound really big, but to me that meant a lot. Like I was able to create something and I was able to help nine people be able to push and flourish through the pandemic. So that in itself was an accomplishment for me and that was one of the motivating factors. Um, so my goal into for 2021 is to actually, um, I, I have a lofty goal of 500,000 in sales. Um, I want to have a salesperson, and I want to continue to build and add on to the uh, cleaning team. And um, those are my, um, be a little bit more recognizable brand. Um, I like to believe that we're, I, I believe that we are the premier cleaning company in this, in this area. Um, considering that most cleaning companies, the average cleaning company year one does anywhere from thirty to fifty thousand dollars in sales, and we almost did uh, double that or three times that. And um, 
most people start out with cleaning themselves or them and a the helper and we were able to grow into a nine person team is, is a pretty big deal is a pretty big accomplishment and even though we started 2020 in such a deficit we were still able to become a company that can generate sales and generate customers um, so yeah 2021 I'm interested um, I'm motivated I'm determined and uh, we're gonna do at least five or six times what we did in year one in year two now we're approaching um, the new office the upgrade as you will um, don't get me wrong I love my first office but I think uh, we got to the point where we were getting too disruptive to the normal business because of the continent and now the volumes of calls, the sales calls, the cold calls that we were doing in there. Year after Panera Bread, and this is what the operation looks like now. People cleaning equipment in the bathroom. See, we're still a poor company, so we can't afford like big stuff, so we gotta do. Gotta do what we can. Yo Reese, man, come talk to the camera, man. Everybody looking for you, man. Right. My little, my little cousin in there. Now look, it's Laura in here doing work. Right. Yeah, man, so uh, that's pretty much um, my journey. Um, you know, social media has this way of like glamorizing like entrepreneurship and all this stuff, like go out there and they make it seem easy, man. But the truth of the matter is, is that it sucks, man. It's brutal. It's a tough game. So, you know, any entrepreneurs out there, um, you go through similar growing pains in year one. I would love to hear your experience, man. So yeah, drop a comment or a like or share or something like that. Let me know your experience. How do you overcome these obstacles? And um, yeah, what are you doing to keep yourself going? What's your motivation? 